everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing something very, very different because I've never done anything like this before. I am showing you, obviously, how to make this hairstyle. Um, I look completely different than I normally do. I'm very aware of that. So basically, all you're gonna need is some straws. I got these at the 99 cent store and um, they came with 200 and I didn't even, I used probably half of them. I have them all like right here from taking them out of my hair, but I didn't actually count them. But yeah, I used a lot. And then you're gonna need little tiny elastics. I just have these black ones, but any color works. And you'll need a spray bottle of some sort. I just got this one at Sally's at some time ago. It was probably like two or three dollars. And anyway, so those three things will achieve this look if you just kind of follow along with what I'm saying. Um, I learned that the hardest part was making sure that you have the ends completely wrapped in because if you have the ends sticking out of the straw, the ends of your hair are going to be straight and it's going to look so awkward because of how curly the rest of your hair is. So as you guys can see, my ends are very curled because I made sure I got them all the way to the end and then folded it and wrapped it up. So you want to make sure it's very secure and that the ends are all the way in the straw wrapping. Also, I wanted to mention that this took so long, so you want to make sure that you have a day that you're not doing anything or like you get home, let's say at like 7, and then you want to be done around 10 o'clock. So you want to give yourself a lot of time to do this. It's not a quick hairstyle whatsoever. It takes a lot of time and dedication and your arms will hurt really bad afterwards. It's um, really, really not comfortable to sleep in. I chose to sleep in them because I wanted them to be in as long as possible. But if you have a day to do nothing, um, I would recommend just wearing them throughout the day and maybe taking a hair dryer to them right before taking them out to make sure that they are completely dry and secure. With that being said, um, I really do like how they turned out. It was like a total of $2 to pretty much do since I already had my spray bottle and elastics. Okay, then it was one dollar because <laughs> I bought straws. But it's really, really cheap and it's super fun to try out. I don't think this is realistic to do on a day-to-day -day basis because it took so long. It takes so long to take out and so long to put in, but it's super fun to try out and to like have your hair feel like completely different. It's super awesome. So if you guys want to see how I achieved this and how I changed my super long straight hair to shoulder length very kinky curly hair, then go ahead and keep watching. Okay, so to start off this video, I just kind of wanted to, even though I had the intro already, I just wanted to kind of talk about what happened today. So today I was just laying in bed and I wasn't doing anything and I like, I have nothing to do. So I thought, what would be a better time than to film this right now since I have an entire day and I know this is gonna take so long to do. So I look kind of funny because I have one straw in right now, but that's just because I wanted to go do it um, off camera just to like figure out how to do it well. So I've got my 200 straws, well, 199 because I have one in my hair right now. And I'm basically just gonna show you how I do about maybe, I'll show you maybe three of them and then I'll speed up a little bit and then I'll just do the rest off camera because honestly it's probably gonna take me a couple hours and I don't have time to film that, if that makes sense. Like I don't have enough storage or time, yeah, yeah. Basically, I, I've never done this before so I'm thinking that if I start at like the crown of my head, like back here, it'll be the easiest to work my way down kind of. So I did one back here and this is what it looks like. And now I'm just gonna do one right next to it. And my hair is so long that it like took up basically the entire straw. I was getting worried, I didn't think it was gonna fit on one straw. So I have to use like a very small amount. So as you can see, my hair is like that long. It's very long, so let's just do this. So I'm gonna spray it a little bit. And then I hold where the little kink is. If you have straws without kinks, then just hold towards the end a little bit more. But the kink kind of helps. And then I'm basically just going to start wrapping it. And it's honestly really difficult because my hair is so long and it like, every time I wrap it, it kind of picks up more hair from underneath. And it's, see, and it does this. I don't even know what it's doing. It has a mind of its own, kind of. <laughs> So you just kind of have to work with it. Um, if you have shorter hair, it might be easier to do the straw part, but then when it actually the curls come out, your hair might be like an inch long. So I was thinking that with my long hair, it'll still hopefully be at a good length when I get the straws out. So I'm literally just wrapping this around the straw as if it was a curling iron, like a really small curling iron. And we're getting towards the end. 
I keep um, scrunching it towards itself. As you guys can see, this is a freaking process. Okay, I need to like rewind a little bit. Okay. So what I mean by scrunching it to itself is every time I like roll it a bunch like this, I take it and I push it to itself. To keep it as close as possible, my arm is burning. And you want to try and wrap it as close to the end as possible. Otherwise, you're going to have like weird straight ends. Okay, and then I'm just going to fold it like this to keep it closed and not coming apart. And then I'm going to take one of my elastics and I'm going to uh, secure the end. Now I'm just going to make sure that this end gets as close to my root as I possibly can. And then I will close off that one. I'll grab another elastic. And that is how I'm going to do my entire head of hair. As you can see, it's probably going to take me um, five hours. Um, now I'm just going to start speeding it up from here. And um, yeah, let's do this. <laughs> okay guys I'm back and I just did half of my head with the straws I also changed my shirt because this is actually like six hours later because I went and actually did things and then I came back and this took how long have I been sitting here? I don't know exactly how long it took but around an hour for sure so I'm gonna do the other side now and, and then I'll come back and show you the entire thing but so far I just wanted to show you this and I'm slowly regretting it because it is hurting my arms so bad but you know, it's good luck, so we're just making our way through it. Okay, everyone, here I am. <laughs> so I just spent the last couple of hours um, finishing this all off, and now my entire head is covered in straws. I'm not exactly sure how many there are right now, but I think in the morning I'm going to count them because I'm curious. So tomorrow I will come back in the morning, and I will show you guys what they look like as I'm taking them out so that I can't, like, fix them or anything. I'm going to show you guys the real truth and how they end up looking. Um, I hope I get enough sleep tonight because honestly, these do not feel comfortable to sleep on, but we're just gonna hope. And yeah, with that being said, I will see you in the morning. Good morning, everyone. I am back, obviously, and I just got done finishing my makeup, so now I'm ready to take out these hair thingies. So last night when I was trying to go to sleep, it was honestly really difficult because these straws are nowhere close to comfortable. I had to like kind of push them back and like stick my pillow on just my face. It was really weird. And then like have my head like hanging off the edge of it. That was like the only way I could actually fall asleep. So now we are just going to take them out one by one. So let's do this. Holy shoot.
So I am back and I just finished taking out all of the straws. So this is what I'm left with right now. As you can see, my hair is significantly shorter. Like it actually fits in the frame, which is crazy. So I'm going to start trying to, I think, fluff it up this tiniest bit. Obviously, do not take a brush to this. Otherwise, you will regret that, you know, within about five seconds. So... As you can see, they ended up turning out amazing. Like, they are so ringlety. They all pretty much are the same size, which definitely was helped by my part because I made sure that I used the same amount of hair in each one, except for the bottom ones. I did a couple of them the tiniest bit bigger, just so that the bottom would be a tiny bit longer. And it's, like, so fluffy, and it just feels, like, unreal. I just want to kind of sit here and just feel it. It's so weird. Anyway, so I guess let's see what happens if I try and, like, take them apart. Okay, I feel like taking, the, like spreading them apart, splitting each one in half is going to help make it look a little more natural even though this, obviously this is not my hair and I feel like anyone would know that, but um, let's just see what happens if, okay, now it's knotting up, that's great. Okay, I don't want to make this too big, so I think I'm going to go off camera and just try and um, fluff it up a little bit and I might use some products and then I'll come back and show you guys what it looks like. I want to jump on here real quick because I just finished like fluffing this side of my hair and I wanted to mention that I added some oil, so this is just the OGX um, Argon Oil of Morocco, that's what it's called, and um, I just sprayed that in my hair just to make sure that it you know, had a little bit of shine to it and just to hold down the frizz the tiniest bit. Okay, everyone, so off camera, I styled my hair and I put some more oil in it and I just kind of flipped over some of what was up here, over here, because when I had it in the middle part, it like looked like Moses parting the sea. It was really funny. I just, um, yeah, this is just how it turned out. I'm not mad at it and I think it's very exciting. So that was the end of this video. I just quickly put my hair into a bun so you guys could see what it looks like. I think having your hair curled like this Makes it so easy to get a huge, super easy, messy bun. Like literally, I just flung it up and then bobby pinned a couple of it in. It was the easiest bun I've ever done. It literally took about five seconds. I was so happy. So like, I literally would just want to do this hairstyle just to make cute buns, but that would be a lot of work for a cute bun, you know? I really, really like how this turned out. I was so excited to do it and I hope you guys enjoyed the video too and at least found it helpful or something like that. Please make sure to comment down below the videos you guys want to see next so that I am making content that you guys want to see. And with that being said, please subscribe if you have not already. And I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video. Bye. So, I wasn't planning on doing this, but I just went throughout my day and it is like 7.30 now. So it, the day is coming to an end and I'm about to get ready for bed. But, um, oh my gosh, it's like a child, 7.30, <laughs> it's not even late. Anyway, I've had a long day, so I'm ready to go to bed. But it's 7.30 and I just wanted to show you guys how the curls like fell. So as you guys can see, my hair is almost back to my regular length. Um, it just has like this mermaid type feel to it. So that's what I'm getting vibes from. I feel like this is like mermaid hair kind of. And I'm actually really feeling it. I think it's really awesome. And um, I enjoy having my long hair back because it's actually long now again. Hey, I'm just letting you guys know that the curls do fall. Um, they're definitely still there. They're not just like straight but they don't stay like kinky the entire day, which is kind of common sense, but just want to show you guys what it looks like. So with that being said, this is the end of the video. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.